Hi guys. Oops, let's see. Camera's not quite right. Let me fix it here a little bit. Okay. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I was getting ready to go over a new deck, bomb with my new deck. And I figured why not put it on film to show you how I do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> for those of you new to Terra. So, what I do when I get <coughs> excuse me, a new deck is this is my bonding deck chair and um so what I do is I, you know, get the deck, take it out of the box, obviously. <laughs> and then I don't keep my decks in the boxes. So, um and of course, I usually read, you know, the box and everything, just like you read the back of a cereal box <laughs> while you're eating cereal. Um, I like to read everything. I, I like to not miss anything. But anyway, so then this, the boxes go over here in my, all my Terra boxes. And then I try to find a, a spot for it. Oops. That's good for now. Um, I'm going to need to get another shelf <laughs> or take some things the my um, basket or this thing off the shelf I do have another shelf but that has my books on it so um, so then I have my cards and after I bond with my cards and go through my cards so this is my um, tray that I keep them on until I'm done bonding with my cards but then when I'm done then I go and I put them on my altar and I um, put the incense on them I use um, lavender and that's then I just set them on my altar before they go in with my other decks that I keep in a, a bin and I'll show you that later on when I get to that point <laughs> so this is uh, earth magic the earth magic deck my camera's kind of far away so I'll try to show it to you but so I just um and I don't know I'm kind of weird about like this is the back of the deck, so I never face the top of the deck down on my tray, just because, I mean, I do eat on this too sometimes, and um, I don't know, just to be respectful, I just don't face it down. But, so when I'm sitting here with my deck, you know, I have my little, when I have my drink, okay, let me scoot back a little, so you can see everything, the camera's not really in it. But, um, so I just have a notebook as my, um, deck journal. I have several of these because I have, you know, so many decks. And, um, I'm so anal that I use, like, different color pens sometimes, depending. Um, sometimes I'll do, uh, bond with two decks at the same time. Especially if I don't have a book for a deck. Like, there was one deck that I didn't have a book for that I got off, um, U.S. Games. I think on the playing cards deck, it was called a party game. It was, um, which deck was that? Shadowscapes. It was a smaller version and it didn't come with a book. I probably could have called and got the book, but it didn't come with a book. Um, so, but it didn't matter. I just used, I just did it with another deck and they both were quite similar. So it worked out good. So I usually have, um, different color pens pencils um, I have a pencil usually for when I see um, symbols in my um, in the cards that I want to look up to see what they mean let's say if, if it's deer or a swan excuse me <laughs> sorry um, then I'll use a pencil that way when I skim through my books I can go and look to see what I want to look up um, because in the beginning I used to stop every second and look on my phone and it made the process go much longer. Um, so sometimes I do use different color pens, especially if I'm using two decks or just, just if I want to make notes on the side or things I want to uh, do later or ideas that I have. That way, you know, I put them in the side, side margins over here on the notebook. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I will stand up and get closer. And then I also have a sticky note. Um, because I always come up with things in my head that, um, oh, I should get this to go with this deck, like maybe a certain um, type of crystal 
or um, you know a certain color candle um, just anything that uh, would go with the deck then I would make a little note to myself something to get and then I always have my wand with me um, this is citra uh, citrulline um, or is it clear quartz I forget now <laughs> but it's the good one and don't get this wet because it could um, disintegrate um, so I use this as I'm holding it I hold I mean as I'm looking at the cards I hold it um, just to bond better with the cards and <laughs> so this is what I do I'll get closer just so that you can see my notebook so like on the first page I'll put earth magic I'll put who it's by and then I'll put the first card well this I, I have them out of order but this is um, autumnal I don't know why he calls it autumnal equinox autumn equinox or fall equinox and then release okay so that would be the first card and then I'll write down the card and then any keyword name or any keyword sentence that goes with the card. And then I'll also put down, like in a different color pen, my first impression. So with this card, if you could see it, you know, and that's kind of my intuitive hit. hit. So I would put, um, you know, the sun is shining through, um, the forest. So this is telling me, um, you know, I would write uh, lightness out of the dark, woods, you know, God shining down to show the way out. Okay, so that kind of would be my first impression, my intuitive hit on this card. So, and I, and I do look back at my um, notes because I do have, number one, I have lupus and I forget. Um, but sometimes I will look back at my notes, you know, as I'm doing a spread. Um, just to remind myself what I did see. Well, if it's intuitive, I'll, I'll see it again or I'll see what I need to see at that time. Um, yeah, and then like I said in my um, welcoming video, sometimes when I get a new deck, I see um, people that have crossed over in a deck, um, and sometimes I don't see them ever again, but I know to look at that. Now, I wish these cards weren't so small. I didn't know they were going to be this small. I won't mention who I got these, what company I got these cards for from rather um, however I'm so grateful um, I tried to scan the back of the the box because it said you could download the the book it, it didn't work so anyway I contacted the number on the box and um, the the maker of the cards, um, Stephen Farmer, he got back to me and he apologized. You know, he's like, I never sell a deck without the, at least a little white book. So, but he gave me his, um, his, um, outline <laughs> for the book. So, uh, you know, he, he downloaded it for me. So it's, it's like a, you know, a paper, I mean, a, a paper, you know, a, a not the book, you know, his notes, his um, written, written, his written draft of what the book would be. So, so I have that to look at. So like on, on the um, autumnal equinox, he has a uh, harvest. So I don't know if that's on the, on the, on the real little book or if there's a big book, I don't know. But he has harvest. So just because I know about the, um, pagan uh, wheel, of, wheel of the year. I know that the fall equinox is um, about harvest, harvest time. I think that's the first harvest. In fact, I'm, we're, we just learned that with Ethany. 
so shout out to Ethany <laughs> um, and um, he also has uh, reaping he just has that word so I'm sure he it's about reaping what you sow um, and then he has release which is the the word for this and then um, you know he has some notes about what this card is so I have it on my computer so then let's say this was the book you know I would look at the book and I would read it and um, I'll just like quickly go over it um, like it says um, conserve your energy by allowing yourself more rest while at some same time making preparation for the season of winter that unfolds from autumn uh, consider shedding relationships that have ser served their purpose and no longer viable as well as work as well as work or job that has become void uh, stop of, uh, 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 Cooper. of uh, interest or passion with the release of things comes a sense of being much lighter just like the trees that open bear just like the trees that openly bear their nakedness once their leaves have departed. So, life is ready to birth following a period of quiet and gestation. So, I might read that and then I'll make some notes on that, like some keywords. Um, you know, consider shedding relationships that have served their purpose. Um, now shedding what you no longer need, um, getting rid of, rid of the negative, getting rid of low vibrations is something I totally live by. Um, once I learned that concept, okay, Cooper, come here, come here now, now, come here. Mommy's working. Quiet barks. Quiet barks. Sorry. The camera's so far away. Um, but anyway, so then I would write down, you know, some key words for myself regarding this card. Cooper. Okay. These people keep uh, looking at the building all the time. So he don't like that. He guards the building. So um, anyway, so, so I would, um, you know, then write down some key words of what the book said. You know, I don't write everything that it says. Things, well, this is not, this is an oracle deck, so it's not like based on right or weight. But um, things that I already know, I'm not going to write down. It's just, um, you know, there's no use constantly rewriting, which I did do in the beginning with a lot of tarot decks. I kept writing and writing the same thing over and over again. But then again, it did help me, help me remember a bit. Um, so, and then I would, like I said, I don't ever put it down, but, so I, then I would set that one there, and then I would go on to the next one, and I'd get my black pen. <laughs> enough, enough, mommy's working. So then I would write, cave, <laughs> shh, shh, no, 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 um, I have, I'm going to have to stop this for a minute. Okay, hopefully he'll be quiet now. So, so while I was waiting for him to be quiet, so then, you know, I finished reading what was on this release card in the in the so-called book, my book. <laughs> so, and then I also put, so I write, put a little overview of what it says you know this is my initial thoughts my um, let's say intuition and then this is a little overview and then I put bullet points kind of just rephrasing and I also like in the let's say book it says time to rest but I also add and reflect so I do add my own um, stuff in here and uh, 
and uh, in the in the book, let's say it says release material things, and and then I also added clear out old, um, you know, to make room for the new, and then in the winter, quiet is a quiet time to re rest, and then I also added to prepare for rebirth, so you can add your own words to it, um, because when you're reading the Terra. Uh, you know, you're going to add your own words, at least you want to, I would assume. You know, you just don't want to read what the cards mean, okay? You just don't want to, um, I, I think, personally, to be a, a good tarot card reader, you, you know, you do want to know for sure what the cards mean. Um, you want to have the base knowledge of what every tarot card means at the root. But then you want to build on that too. So this is why you bond with your deck. This is why you do like kind of a Terra uh, deck journal. And this is why I do it this way. So that you're bonding with your deck. You're taking time to go card by card. Mm -hmm. um, getting some first impressions. Now I don't, you know, I haven't gone through this deck really yet. So, but let's say this had... And like I said, um, you know, a dove in the background or a turtle or something, you know, something that I didn't know what it meant spiritually, then I would look that up so that you know. And um, oh, none of this is in the, in the picture. So, so that's what, just what I do with this um, when I get a new deck. Okay? So I hope that helps. And then um, I will get back to you when I'm done going through this deck. And show you the next step that I do with it okay so we'll fast forward in a little bit um, from this spot after I go through each of these cards so I'll see you in about 10 days no <laughs> no just kidding hopefully uh, I can get this done today um, it's early I think oh no it's not it's not I forgot I slept in late but anyway um, I will see you guys in a little bit and take care Bye-bye. Hey, we're almost ready to um, put the incense on to clear my deck also after I've um, put all my energy into every card. And let me know um, in the comments what you guys do for when you get a new deck. I'd just be curious to see um, what everybody else does. And also, um, I didn't mention that... Um, when I, when I don't have a new deck, when I haven't purchased a new deck in a while, I definitely get a, um, an urge. <laughs> Not that I want to have another deck, but it is very meditative, um, if that's the word. Meditative. Yeah, I think that's the word. Um, for me, um, especially if I'm stressed or something. I'm trying to get everything back in the picture again. So, um, it's, it's very soothing and it's a, a meditative practice that I do when I do go through all um, the cards in the deck, um, just for me. So, I'd be curious as to know if it is um, the same for you guys. So, it just, um, it's very soothing. Kind of like how people like to cook, which I hate to cook. Um, they like to cook because it's very soothing when I get a new deck I love to take my time to go through it um, because it's kind of like I zone in um, to the deck the whole the rest of the world the rest of the stresses the rest of the outside world kind of disappears and I just focus in on the deck and connecting to the energy of the deck um, so it's very meditative for me um, so let me know if that is the same for you guys or how you bond with your deck. Um, so we will move on to the next um, phase after I've, now that I've gone through all the cards. Hang on a minute. Oh, every time I turn this thing on, I'm at the wrong angle. So anyway, so um, once I've gone through my deck and bonded with it, then I bring it over to my altar. Um, so I'm going to point down. Well... So I have incense. I think I'm going to get the sticks, um, too. 
so these are just you know incense I got at a, a crystal metaphysical store right by me so I was so excited that there's one right near me so I go there all the time um, so let me just lower this now normally I put it in the middle but I am um, manifesting right now and I will zoom in on this so I can show you so this is my um, if you can see there's and you can get books of these um, I think I printed this out I think but I did buy a book and I also saw at the metaphysical store by me they have them um, printed out on um, felt which I really liked so I might get that next time but you don't have to you know you can just print it off the internet um, it doesn't cost a lot to make an altar so this is just the lavender ones that I use um, but anyway getting back to my manifestation I decided to use my chakra stones that I've used in my um, tarot readings and then I also which I've never done before so we will have to see I used um, my tarot cards in my um, for the chakras so one two three four five six seven chakras and then I added um, some good luck you know happiness um, citrine citrine stones and then for let's say for the um, heart chakra I have emerald, emerald here and then I have the ten of cups for my heart chakra so I'm hoping to manifest the ten of cups for my root chakra I mean my crown chakra I'm sorry no for the crown I have the Sun um, and then for my um, third eye I have the high priestess so, and then I, you know, went around with what I wanted to manifest. And then I have my clear quartz crystal um, uh, cellulite, citrine, or whatever it is. <laughs> my, my power, my power is in the middle, pointing up. So when I do my ritual, you know, go around in a circle. Um, and if you want, I can do one with you um, another time. So we'll see. I did this on the full on the yeah the full moon, and since it was only like eight days or nine days, whatever, till the new moon, so I've just left it. So I I did have water and fire here. Um, I had a cup of water and I had a candle lit because uh, I wanted to have all the elements, um, but um, I took those down. So hopefully I didn't mess myself up. <laughs> but um, I have mess. Ma I have my manifestation chart that I printed out off the internet that I got offline. Well, I picked my own sacred geometry. I, I do my um, manifesting on top of sac sacred geometry that I print out. Again, I did buy like a color. It was kind of like a coloring book of sacred geometry shapes that I can just rip out the pages. I haven't used those yet, but I did use the one and I saw it on YouTube, um, Manifesting Money. And I have a particular dollar that I use for it that she, like in the middle, she put a dollar or whatever she put. I had, I only had a dollar on me, <laughs> so I put it under. And yeah, it works. Works every time. So they increase my link card about 40 bucks each time I do that manifesting. <laughs> That's not quite the point. I wanted more money than that. But hey, I'm not complaining. So I guess that's my link card. Uh, uh, because of my disabilities, I'm on link and Medicaid and stuff. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not being ungrateful. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, and it's like happens like, like right away. Like the next day or two. Like I get... A notice in the mail that I got increased like 40 bucks so it does work uh, I'm still manifesting my man but he ain't coming yet but anyway so this is my manifesting so I'm not gonna touch this and move this but normally I would put the deck in the middle of my um, in the middle here 
you know so normally I would lay it down and kind of just spread it out so this is the earth magic that I was working with so and then anything else new that I would get like new crystals and stuff and I'm so mad because I purchased this now of course I thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger but that's okay um, and so I've what I do when I get like new stones or crystals um, this is my first um, crystal ball I guess you would call it a crystal ball um, is I put it put it under water not not this oh, not these because these will um, dissolve get my stuff under water but any other kind of crystals you got to make sure but normally the crystals you, I put under water you know and I I clean it I just cleanse it and then I set it in a um, salt bath so you don't have to get the fancy salt either I just get um, sea salt from the grocery store okay so I, I put it in a bowl with some sea salt you know I just set it in there and so um, this guy was sitting in sea salt for a while because usually after that then I take him out of the sea salt and I set him you know in a bowl or them you know so they don't roll and I set them under the sunlight so I cleanse my um, crystals with the sunlight um, because the Sun is God to me so what better place to cleanse things than with God but we haven't had Sun um, I live in Illinois and we have not had Sun for like almost eight days now because today's Tuesday and well Friday Friday will be the new moon so um, you know I'll leave this all till the new moon maybe maybe I'll put him out to the new moon but see the moon is on that side of the building so <laughs> you know the moon you can't see from this window but anyway um, so that's what I do to cleanse my crystals that's how I do it and I just you know I, I believe in my own power too just holding them you know gives them the power so um, what I was saying I was mad about is because I was kind of waiting because the sand for this is supposed to come today and this this place has taken so long to deliver stuff and it's a little sand and I kind of like that it's a little ball that it doesn't take up a lot of room so I'll probably put it like right about oh you can't even see where I'm going but wait where am I going so but anyway so I'll put it you know I'll put it on okay it's out of the screen again so I'll put it on a stand you know on my altar and it is a nice size for for here you know I don't need anything big and bulky so but I thought the stand would come today because I wanted to cleanse the stand too um, with my incense so so I'll just be doing the cards and the ball even though I usually do I usually do the incense last for everything last last for my cards because then the cards go in with their friends with everybody else over there all, all the other decks and maybe I don't know if I'm showing you Cooper I don't know where my camera's going because I can't see it I think I showed you Cooper but and uh, so, um, but that's where then I'll, then I can put it in there with the rest rest of the crowd. And I used to have them in boxes, but um, they didn't like that too much. So anyway, let's get to the okay. Let's get to this thing. Okay, so. And this was little. Now I didn't buy. I bought this knowing it was little, because my table is not that big. Okay, you can get much bigger ones. Walmart has them too. Um, but so note to self. Oops. Note to self. Clean this out first. Okay. Well, all right. I just um, make it messy on my kitchen table. Okay. So note to self. <laughs> Light. The incense before you put it in the box um, I know that so I almost caught the whole house on fire because I'm like I had it in here and I'm with the lighter you know it's wood 
you know, practically catching everything on fire. So, um, we'll just ignore that because I'm here and it's there and I'm locked in. Okay, so we're going to light the incense. You know, it, it doesn't go up in flames or anything. So you just light it and then you wait for the flame to go out. My dog does not like fire. He's a, let's see, what is he? He's an earth animal. He's a Virgo. So you just wait. Okay, wait for it to start smoking out. Can you see that? Okay. So then, and because I don't have good motor skills, then you put it into the box on the little thing. And this one has what you can use a stick to, okay? So, and then you close it because it does have the air openings, all right? So then I just let it flow all over. You know, if you want to be fancy, you can get one of those feathers, you know, but I just let it go over, um, you know, my cards, the cards, you know, usually some, sometimes I use it by more than one deck at a time. So I'll just save the deck on my altar until I've done two decks and then I'll, you know, have them all be cleansed. So with cleansing my decks, so what I do with, I'm like, where am I? Okay, so with cleansing my decks, if you can see, like the smoke does come over onto them and it gets there, it moves around. So, but with cleansing my decks, I, I mainly just, because I hold on to them and, and bond with them for so long that they're getting my energy on, on them, you know, one by one. And then I just bring them over here and let them set with the incense. And again, um, this is the last step that I do um, with crystals or decks or, you know, anything else like that I would get. This is the last step um, for my cards before they go into the pile with everybody else. And then they're all good to go. So I hope that was clear. And that's how I, um, you know, bond and, um, uh, whatever, clear my decks or cleanse my decks or whatever you want to call it.